address the parking thing now? And my other question is, do you have any, does the staff have anything worked up for parking? We really don't. Uh, probably a more complex issue. We probably want some direction if y'all want to go, go that way and investigate what the uh, possibilities might be. Uh, you're, you're usually going to take the form of more severe parking restrictions in some locations. Uh, I know that the uh, correspondence actually talked about the downtown area having a two-hour limit. Downtown area actually already has a two-hour limit. Um, it, it's not been what I would call enforced rigorously in the past because of complaints that uh, occurred the very second that we began to enforce it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Um, yeah, Sometimes I have to wait two hours to get quiet. Well, Carl will cut my well, ears. <laughs> No, I know you're kidding, but the, the, I'm not kidding. There, there's another issue there, which is in an entertainment district, you probably want them to spend a little bit more time there and not be having to run outside and move their car after two hours. So there's some moving pieces. Well, what here. are we talking about there? We're talking about the two hour main during the day with the problem. From a business standpoint, yes. And some of it stems to business owners parking there, but a lot yeah. of it you know, stems to just somebody you know, parking a car. I don't like the idea of someone leaving their car there for you know, 48 hours at a time. But I also don't like saying two hours parking or three or whatever. I, just, I don't want someone just to park their car there and just leave there while they go on vacation for a week. That's Usually you have a combination of things. You might have some very pretty severe restrictions in areas that you don't want the traffic leading over into, primarily residential, during the evening especially. Uh, during the daytime you might have a limitation on the amount of time because you want the traffic to circulate, you want people to come and shop and go and they really need to stay there more than two hours. If they're staying there more than two hours, they're probably doing something else that's not necessarily associated with the retail or entertainment bus trip. Uh, they're associated with the retail. It's the people working in the stores. Yeah, and they're just taking sometimes, they're taking a price. Sometimes, but sometimes that's what most of it. Sometimes it's business is not retail equipment. Well, oh well they're working in their, whatever their store yeah. is. Right. If it's an insurance office or whatever else. And you can see the ones on Main Street, they got their names on their trucks. And then for the entertainment piece, you probably want to open it up a little bit where they don't have to move their cars after two could, hours. Could you pick, for example, the nose in parking? Could you make that two hours, whereas the lots could be whenever? I mean, as long as you want. Strictly local or Eight to five. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it would take a little road. bit more investigation to kind of try to lay out where you think the right types of restrictions fit for the right types of purposes. Yeah, just service trucks on Main Street just don't make sense. Yeah, I, I you got different that. things going on. You got entertainment versus daytime business. You got residential versus commercial. Yeah. Well, well, what if we have staff come back with something with some options to parking? The Lord Bridge said, you know, it's not so much the retail people. You got probably the, probably the owners or something like that that are parking there. And, all day long. And there's some office spaces or service spaces over retail spaces where people, you know, park and walk in their front door and then they're there doing their business right. all day. Right. And that's kind of the stuff we'd like to see. Right. And these other public parking. That's like excellent idea. So you're talking about like a two hour limit during daytime hours along yes. the street? See, I have no idea that you had it. I'm just, well, I guess it's just not enforced or publicized because I, I haven't ever seen it anywhere. It didn't go so well. We called off over the last 30 years. That's another option. We're going to start that. Let's do the one way parking or the park in the wrong way. Here's another option. Are you complaining about it? Yeah, I'm sure. Commonly done in the cities as they begin to grow. The most common approach is to insert your parking. So what? There's a built-in oh. built disincentive for hanging around too long. Well, there was when we started all this stuff here. The ultimate goal is to have paid parking. Right? That's when you have a success. Right. When you have when people want to pay to park. Yep. Because that means the the parking is at a premium. Right. Or you have to have a valet. Right. People like to talk about it. But that's that's where you. Are, the high end is, that's what happened. Okay, well, we're out here, you have a I agree with that. And we do have plenty of other parking spaces right now that are not being utilized other than the front doors on Main Street. And 
within a block of the wall. Why don't we have staff do that? Have y'all uh, polled your Old Town Business Association people who got a <coughs> recommendation or something that they would, they would, because it's going to affect them more than anybody else. Right, and I think there is support, but I, we could definitely poll. Uh, why don't you do that to see if y'all want to pass something as a recommend, as a Old Town Business Association? Would y'all want to pass a recommendation <coughs> of what? Get with staff and work it out because they'll give you some other options. Yeah, so, so. yeah. it's going to take a little bit more uh, research and right. evaluation. So I think you need to kind of go slow on that one and try to figure out exactly what you're trying to accomplish. And it could be like, say, you do the meter. Got a complication, of course, associated with parking in that, but classic it takes a parking. Okay. Anything else? All right. It is.